Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing a Choose to Lose campaign. The campaign is called Dark Event Massacre, where we have now accomplished uh, the task of finally getting 20 uh, permanent dark events uh, that are running on parallel. We're also running ABA uh, to make the game more difficult than <clears throat> the end game, and we are up against none other than the Hunter. Kurmar Kormain, aka the Dark Stalker, Elite Priest, Spark, Elite Assault, Creo Priest, Archon, a Berserker Prime, which sucks plentiful when you're in close compartments, and Elite Spectre. So that in itself will be bad. We will need to bring our finest, and currently the finest look sort of like that. We got Knuckles, our highest uh, ranking ranger, uh, with uh, Rashi and uh, the uh, Katana Blades. We got uh, Icon here, one of our Psy operatives uh, for crowd control. We are running Mirror, highest uh, specialist. We got Fake Hogbite, uh, the clone, uh, that is surprisingly stronger than the original Hogbite. And we got Knockout plus Duke, who is going to join us in this mission. I like the loadout in general. I like what I'm seeing here. Uh, might as well be a potential team for the last mission. I really like the Spark as a fire support and uh, for its ability to overdrive. Uh, that cannot be underestimated. Okay, freshly landed, this time with a Templar. <clears throat> and we hopefully will be able to take the Chosen out quite fast. Well, okay, people, stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today. No can't really it see where we need to go. I suppose it's maybe back here. No doubt in my mind that it is from the chosen. Then that's where we need to be. I was hoping you might take a little longer to find this place. Things were just starting to get interesting between us. Right. Now, you're already dead. All right, I'll go. Good, everybody moves in. Full Overwatch. And of course, a hunker down. So far, so good. Let's just open the door and see what we're dealing with. In here today. No, we certainly were not expecting to sneak in here today. That's quite right. Could move all the way up here. Or we could just move in. Flank uh, the guy. No point in not using overdrive because we could just wait a few rounds this is a non-timed mission elite lancer takes a nice little shot there missing the specter there we go some nice little focus build up. Yeah, we don't need concealment. I'm not going to scout ahead big times. Damn, that was painful. Does anyone still need kills? Yeah, I think our Grenadier does. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Let's just get in here for now. Implacable triggered. And... I'm not even sure if uh, there are doors here. I think we've, we've just uh, come to a dead end. 
Oh boy. Well, that was unnecessary, I suppose. Yeah, we can't get through this. Okay. Good, moving up. Location confirmed. I don't see you running anywhere. That seems reasonable. Good, at least we got some focus out of it. Holding position. On overwatch. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. So I think we need to reload. Um, move into here. Takes a middle position. Stepping off. Hogbite moves over here. It is clear. Good. Reload. Arashi single reload because uh, apparently shotguns need to be single reloaded. And we're just hunkering down for now. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I think it's still one more round until Overdrive is back. This game was a lot more fun when you followed the rules. No, well, two more rounds even. Good, everybody just overwatches. Did someone just move through here? Or did we... Wow, we, we, we just shot through the door? How said he... Wow, how is that even possible? Okay, so apparently those guys triggered through a solid door. That's an interesting development, isn't it? I should probably start going on and on now about how I will defeat you for the glory of the elders. But let's be real. I just like to kill things. <laughs> okay. Let's just start with actually killing these guys. That's full focus, right there. All right, so if we were to hit any of those guys. Hmm. But I think we can crowd control uh, one of uh, them. This here is likely going to end up in a kill. There we go. Got uh, Implacable going for us. Yeah, 
I should have potentially used the 100% um, chance to kill uh, to hit this guy. All right, Knuckles take the eight protocol. Uh, takes the eight protocol. And we don't want to use any of our actual cooldowns yet. Uh, our actual consumables. So we're just trying to shut him down. That's good. Could have even controlled him. But yeah, we do have stasis. So... The priest would even... Uh, would even die if, uh, even be controlled if we if we so wanted to. Good, nice little bit of damage. I don't want any issues here. That could be undying loyalty. There is no point in in taking any chances. Not if we do have crowd control available. Stasis takes care of any problem that we would have. And we're parrying. End of turn. Fantastic. Good. Reloading. And this should be a kill. Implacable triggers yet again. Moving up. Hopefully without catching fire. Shredding this guy nicely down. I'm as as and we're still continuing to be careful here. Observe how it's done. Reload Overwatch. And we're just going to take a casual safe position here. Good. Time to reload. Just get our our stuff together. You weren't going to win this war anyway. And imagine how All right, full reload. Watching the elders tear this world apart. I'm doing everyone a favor. Locking and loading. Wow, that shotgun seeing a reload. That's like really bad. I'm compelled to agree. I'm on Even the mech says I'm compelled to agree. Okay, next round onwards, we can give it a normal go. We do not have run and gun on knuckles here that we definitely need to change that i think we'll need a couple extra ability points as you wish okay i'll go i'm going as great as it is to have a fully leveled up templar our uh, Ranger unfortunately also needs to have the necessary skills. Okay, let's take a short orientation. That's the end of the map. That's the end of the map. That's a strange setup here. That's yet again the end of the map.
think we need to go through the store here. What's over there? Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Roger that. All right, moving up. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And I'll sunk her down. Everybody else goes on Overwatch. It's times like these I regret losing my humanity. The fear you are experiencing now must be so exhilarating. Good. Moving up, moving up. Switch places. Almost. On the move. Not sure why exactly we are again seeing right through the door. Okay. Well, I think this time we will need at least some cooldowns. Alright, those guys are either in panic or shitting their pants at the moment. That's good. I like it. Void Rift would be 3 to 6, Null Lens would be much more damage. I think I might hit both of them, although he's in, in a, a state of panic. Almost killed him. Hit only one of them, unfortunate. Okay, so we still do not have run a uh, run gun, a uh, run gun. But we do have Reaper. It is clear. Let's try to hit the Archon. work as well as I hope it would. At least I hit my targets. Hmm. Still not uh, in kill range. No, just barely out of range. Close the door again. Well, that is opening it. Don't want to use the Icarus jump now. That's too early. Just want to use normal cooldowns. He's almost down. 
almost. Hair trigger for free action. That's perfect. All right, Reaper it is. And in place, uh, implacable. Good Continuing the onslaught. We do have blade storm, don't we? Yeah, we do. Fifty fifty. Let's think that through. Um, I mean, we could go for Comet Protocol, but I really would want to do that, uh, use that later. On the other hand, it's it's a secure kill. Just don't want to pull another pack. Hmm. Also don't want to use the Icarus uh, jump. Elsewhere we could simply jump back here, take an armor shot and everything would be good. We're parrying. And we're taking one small cooldown. Good. We got Blade Master, so and a hundred percent chance to hit him. That guy is dead, and his friend is panicked. Enemy down. So, what do you really think will happen if you win today? Planning to hop over to the Elder's ancient. Good. Time to actually kill the last guy here. In. Killing all of them. And let's move over with Implacable. Knockdown moves all the way over here. Taking some heavy cover in the middle. I'm trusting you here. What's over there? And all things considered, so far we haven't really used a lot of cooldowns. There are still there's still one more pack here. You are planning on actually fighting me today, aren't you? If not, could you please do me the courtesy and die already? The suspense is killing me. Good. Put Overwatch. Carefully moving forward. If you say so. Double time. Hey, we gotta get into a good position. Be something Ready over here. Okay, there's the very real chance that that last pack will be eventually running into us. This here is the final room. Staying put. Moving to Overwatch. Good, so the other pack came from that side. 
good. Haven't triggered anything. That in itself is already good. What's over there? I hope it's worth it. Moving on target location. Hope it's worth it. Okay. Something's wrong with the doors, by the way. It, uh, two times in a row we were setting up for an ambush behind the door, and that whole thing didn't really work. Understood. Moving out. I'm going. Oh, we can already. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. That is bad. If there is an a full overwatch, oh boy. Oh, I can already see the Berserker uh, Prime charging in and just doing us dirty. Hmm. All right. So this one time, the name of the game is getting as far away as humanly possible. That's affirmative. What's over there? Sounds like a job Damage. Oh, Maintaining position. Yeah, they had been here. I think they have moved. Yep, they're standing right there. Maybe we should stay as the Berserker. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do exactly that. Typically, I would start with a great, uh, with a great kind of blade storm. Don't shoot the Berserker Prime. Alright, just one damage, that is okay. Let us take the Berserker Prime into stasis. Yeah, we're going to deal with you next turn from afar. In the meantime, your friends will suffer. And I mean, they will suffer a lot. Very nice, that's a good hit. That's a beefy pack, can't argue with it. Let's start hitting the Berserks. Got him down. I'll comply for now. Moving a bit away. Might as well overdrive. And that's one hit. And hopefully another one. Very good. Good. This should kill two of them. <laughs> Fake Hawkbutt at uh, his finest. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found okay, I think we still don't here. want to be close to these things. Didn't work out. Thankfully, we got a hair trigger. There you go. Uh, 
and hop by sort of move in here. Okay. In position. Let's deal with a burst of prime, shall we? So the core idea is to deal as much damage to it as humanly possible. Good, we're just going to move really far away from him. There's not really no point in standing close, other than asking to be hit again. It feels good to move around. Good, now that we're reasonably far away. This here would deal the most damage if we were to hit. say it but it got off the pre-portion uh, and we still ended up with getting hit okay so I got one huh. anyways let's heal knuckles damn berserk what's over there we would have needed even more space Problem is th that uh, all of the Blade Storm actions trigger. And I already mentioned in my ABA run that I full heartedly and sincere sincerely disagree with that uh, design decision because it effectively makes the ability worse. And I do understand now why he has not skilled into some of the abilities, like the original owner of uh, the safe game. Because in the context of ABA, not all of the I abilities are as good as they are in the normal game. Bladestorm is one of uh, those examples. I'm going. Good. With moving, all of our um, all of our weapon modifi uh, modifications will work again. So the superior reloaders, as far as we do have them actually would uh, would be recharged and we definitely yeah, should fully yeah. reload and make sure that all of our abilities are available Come get some. good let's ascend well, and well, wish me luck boys wish me luck Time to find out who the better sniper is. Well, we don't even have a sniper with us. We're in the belly of the beast but I guess you get people. what I mean. We're going to kill him and eventually rip that lovely sniper out of his bloody hands. Okay, we're going to trigger that first pack. Well, or not, I guess. Orders confirmed. Moving out. It is clear.
Lovely. Lovely. Why exactly do we have a 0% chance to get that guy? We do have an alien amp with a nerf domination to the point where you have a 0% chance. Well, might as well take our chances with the, with the member then. Starting to mark the Archon, which did not necessarily work out as I would have wanted it. Moving over, all of this here should not trigger uh, the Chosen yet. He's even stunned. I'm on the move. And he's down. Okay, so I got one. Implacable triggered. Good. Gotta get our cooldowns back and then we can start fighting against uh, the Chosen. I'm disappointed that they wouldn't let me keep the the Archon. Hmm. Decision. Heading there now. All right, I'll go. Okay, we got poison spit. And we got a nice weapon, Mamba Bolt Caster. Okay, cool. Wow, they nerfed the Psyops. I mean, potentially rightfully so. They are the strongest class by a margin. And Domination definitely is an offender. Good, we're just overwatching for now. Don't even need to overwatch. Let's just get the cooldowns ready once again. So the weapons are full, sort of. Do another last full reload for everyone. Oh yeah. Okay. So not sure if they have modified any of the distances I'm going. I assume they do not have well they have because uh, that distance normally does not trigger him right. we faced these things before and we can do it again no matter what happens today only one side is leaving this place all right Takes extra damage from Templars, brittle against melee attacks, and really doesn't want to get shot. Why exactly is he already starting to shoot back? We haven't even. What? What? What 
exactly is going on. I don't know if I want to overdrive. Percent chance, not good enough. Here, catch. We're just going to start shredding him the, in a conventional matter. Only fifty five percent. He can be poisoned, which means that reduces his um, aim substantially so. I'm trusting you here. And what I would want to do is let's inspire. To shred him even further. Still only a 50% chance. I don't like it. only a 50% chance. Wow. We could use common protocol though. Or alternatively, just charge in and kill him. <laughs> Should have done that after um, after I shredded him. That was a bit of a mistake. Still only 60% chance, although we're flanking him. Wow. I really don't want him to hit anyone, to be entirely honest. He's immune to flashbangs though. However, smoke still works fine. Okay, that works just like I wanted it to. 50-50, not good enough. I think we're just combat protocoling for some extra damage. I'll chalk that up to beginner's luck. Okay. Moving up. And that's a 50-50. He's debuffed and we're standing in smoke, so might as well give it one shot. Okay, well that missed. We're going to see some return fire. He's poisoned. He will take a Bladestorm attack if he counter, uh, counter strikes. Bladestorm 
still very much delivers the value. Under protocol also very much delivers. And this will potentially not trigger. No, it won't. Too bad. But there is the parry. Still going to kill this guy. By the way, we do have um, Shadow Step. Good. Worked like a charm. We could move up in order to kill one of those guys with Blade Storm. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor. Transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. All right, 71%. That's good enough. <sighs> Maybe not. What's over there? Six to eight, two, four, six, eight. That would require maximum damage, which I think we can't get. So might as well not lance him to death. Of course, sustenance saves today. Good time for Reaper, so that we're not losing any actions. And of course, another sustenance. Well, luckily for us, Both of those uh, guys are now in sustenance. What's over there? And we can start hammering onto that sarcophagus. A few more shots. Good, now is the right time for overdrive. I want to try to get the sarcophagus down in one go before the warlock um, re uh, before the hunter respawns. Hair trigger? No. I'm going to move down here. So both of them are covered with blade storm and unless they are immediately casting a stasis they will die is that a prime it might be And an Andromedon, okay, cool.
Good. Very good. Okay, so moving all the way up to here, we're going to summon a ghost. And we're going to regain one uh, focus right away. Yeah, it's a sector for prime, okay. Uh, an uh, spectre prime. Can the frost bomb hit both of them? No, but it can hit uh, the prime, which is good enough for for what I'm concerned. Continuing to hit the sarcophagus. And this takes care of the prime. Mamba reloads and takes a shot. Nice little extra damage. Moving up. And let's continue the onslaught. We're missing damage, unfortunately. Putting on some aid protocol and let's continue with actually hitting these sarcophagus. Moving on target location. Moving over here. Now is the right time for a hair trigger. Apparently not. here and that even took him out fantastic not enough to kill these sarcophagus oh, it's disappointing can't believe that we're going into another round That's unfortunately just the amount of uh, um, uh, of weapon upgrades that we are missing. This is taking way longer than I had hoped. Hope it's worth it. Good, he's eventually going to get the short end of the stick here. When all of us are going to just hit him.
question though is do we need to kill yeah I, I think we need to kill these guys here first sucks a bit but I think it is necessary repositioning and then we're first of all going to reload and then we're just going to hit this guy nice little hit Let's move down here. Watch over there. And kill this guy. I need to die first. Well, there's no way around that. I almost feel bad for them. They've got no idea what they're in for. I think realistically, if we are continuing to just hunt him. We're, de we're dealing so much damage against him, might as well just stick nicely on him, use the parry, and then leave it at that. Good, this guy is stunned. Zero percent chance. Wow. I think in that case we're just going to stasis it and are going to kill it next turn. We're anyway up for a second round of the Sarcophagus. Might as well play it safe. Storm. Onto the Chosen and at least one of his stupid priests. Grapple into shot into parry. Ooh, look at that. They want to kill our member. But I'm not okay with that. I think we're just going to heal. Good, gotta deal with the chose uh with the chosen for now. This will trigger the overwatch. What? We do have we do have Shadow Step. How is that even hitting? With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, 
I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. Well, it certainly can't do it indefinitely, I can tell you that. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. All right, moving up. Where is our gunner? Of course, so uh, on the other side. That's fine. Doesn't matter now. There we go. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes. The regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. Good. Andromedon needs shredding. Sensors indicate armor deflection. We're hitting Hawkbite, mainly because I don't want him to bleed. We go. And how about we're just moving over here for some good old fashioned blade storm. damage with our Psy ability. Something is off. Typically they would deal just a tiny bit more. Let's try to tank that shell here. Templar Ghost still has a bit more inside it. Nice little hit, that was good. Mind control? Yeah. Straight into the mind shield. Good job. Well done, well done. And took four points of damage as feedback on top of it. Beautiful. There we go. He's almost down. Now that wasn't supposed to happen. And just when I was starting to like you, you're the reason why this world can't have nice things. Unfortunately, can't really reach him. But we can get really, really close to him. Okay, so time to shred him.
Good. Our Viper has done surprisingly well, I must say. And I think the ghost counts as a Templar, so this should be a kill. Almost. Down to 1 HP. That was a nice trick, Templar. Good. Another one bites the dust. That was harder than expected, but well under control. If you know how to use your cooldowns, uh, you are actually still having the upper hand even with ABA. It just took longer to defeat uh, the hunter in battle and maybe to a degree it's also our lack of proper weapons. Unfortunately we can't take our Viper as a new recruit with us. Imagine it's permanently mind controlled and at some point it just agrees with the ways of XCOM and then becomes a double agent. Good. Two of them down, one more to go. And we got the Huntress Darklands and the Dark Claw completely ignores armor that is great and look at that we even got a PCS it's a shitty PCS but it is better than no PCS already doing the rage uh, suit ah we gotta first of all research the hunter weapons might as well pause beam cannon, uh, cannon for it, because as expected, the hunter's weapons are actually usable right away. They I'll will not require some some more updates, and they are upgraded at the highest level, forward. so the Darklands will deal a phenomenal amount of damage. What? Black Market is back up? Hell yeah, sign me up. I thought it would be forever closed, but it reopens, even with permanent dark events. I never let the black market uh, close in the first place, so that's even a first timer for me. I learned uh, that you can eventually get it back. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Okay, we gotta do a new facility soon. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I think this is going to lead to quite a bit of income. Okay, so selling a lot of corpses and we are rich. 660 to be precise. Let's see what else can we do. Tech fragments. No idea what that is. Superior magazine is fantastic. What are tech fragments? Hmm. I was hoping we could purchase a couple of PCSs because we don't have those either. And we are okay on Elarium, although we could use some more. I don't know what the tech fragments are. I will buy them in the hope that they are kind of fragments that we can use wherever. And Superior Expanded Magazine certainly is something that you can always use. So other than that, I mean, there are a couple of things that we could use, but none of them immediately. So in terms of building, hey, Commander. we very soon need to uh, go and do another mission. But in terms of building, we know that we can upgrade uh, the Shadowlands. We can now finally upgrade uh, 
the plasma rifle, that is great. Yeah, let's just get the squad upgrade here. Very good. Very good. Yeah, next up, I think I want uh, the heavy weapons to be upgraded. I think I want the heavy weapons to be upgraded. And whilst we're at it, now that we do have a bit of money, let's recruit one or two more soldiers. Maximilian Richter. Having that extra rookie. Ten percent uh, chance to critically hit enemies. Yes, please. Two hundred supplies is a lot, though. The other alternative is building a power relay, and then more resistance communications. I think that's the right power play. Where's our power? Uh, I suppose he has already upgraded that completely. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. But generally speaking, here we got uh, Maximilian Richter. Uh, could use another Grenadier, another Marksman would be great as well. I, I don't know the classes. What? Uh, these appear to be sort of long war-ish classes. Saboteur, Scout, Infantry. That's just Try infantry, I suppose. It's a weird mixture between like actual classes and then these hybrids. So run and gun or rapid fire. Oh, rapid fire is so good as well. We're going to go with rapid fire for now. But run and gun must be the next uh, thing. And he even has chain shot and serial. Are you kidding me? Wow. Well, yeah, run and gun definitely would be the next one. Oh, serial is pretty good as well. So, in terms of our specialist, also has serial and kill zone. Hmm. If we give our specialist, so hear me out, if we give our specialist serial. They can mount a sniper rifle, and apparently in this mod, the sniper rifle has squad sights. So what that would mean is we have a full-fledged, massive, overpowered uh, specialist with a sniper in their hand and the ability to have serial. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. And if, uh, well, that's that would be too far in the future, but if you can then also stay kill zone on top of it, that would even compensate for the lack of long watch. Together with Ever Vigilant, so multiple shots and kill zone and threat assessment. Holy shit! Like that would, that uh, that class alone would potentially annihilate uh, the enemy. But then there are primes, so if a prime is hit like four or five times, that's pretty bad as well. So yeah, the specialist here. I I think we need to get her serial and the ranger. We need to. Get run and gun going. Okay. Good. I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Slowly but surely. So we can get more intel. That's fine. But for now. 
I think the next thing that we're actually going to do is because we don't want the avatar project to fill up is we're going to go and do exactly this here. Nice little mission. Spectre Prime. Andromedon Prime is nasty. Gatekeeper Prime. Oh wow. Yeah, they filled it up nicely with only the toughest of enemies. But I have an idea how we're going to go through that. You will see it in the next episode though. We're still trying to get this one here out of the shitter. Uh, but we're on a good uh, trajectory. If I'm just looking at our soldiers and uh, just the depth of our character pool. We got an A and a B team. And we're uh, kind of building up uh, that uh, C team, uh, C tier team as well. We're equipping uh, the A team with quite a nice set of items. And if we have a marksman uh, with a new rifle, that should also account for something. Overall, I think it went very well so far. If you enjoy saving your disaster campaigns and if you enjoy the Dark Event Massacre in particular, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. That always helps the channel and the videos. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye, guys.